A family in Denver got their native heirlooms back after the car containing them was stolen. Those heirlooms decades, if not centuries old. Special items that provide a sense of identity. Getting the heirlooms back was not easy. I news reporter Luis De Leon has the story. It's, it's really a sense of who we are. A connection so powerful. Yes, yes, very powerful. Is described by few words. Those memories that someone wanted you to have something special that was theirs. A connection to items that represent your culture. You just can't replace that. Is painful when they're taken from you. And that was the hardest thing to deal with is that we couldn't continue that. Um, that passing of tradition along. Ben Jacobs and his mom Jan spent the week hoping. Late Monday night, Jan got home from her Osage tribe ceremonial dances in Oklahoma. She was going to unpack the next morning. So I got up early, went out, and my car was gone. A plea for help finding it all week. Their eagle feathers were all in that car. Whether it was fate or luck, something. Yeah. It was there. Yeah, yeah. Connected them. Thank goodness. Once again. So everything. There's still a few things in here, but they say Aurora police found the car abandoned. The Jacobs got it back Friday. That one you have to be careful. When yeah, well, we're the important items. This one here. All still there. These are called bandoliers. So this was given to me by my aunt. That was given it by her father. And then this is Ben's suit here. So many of these things have been gifted, you know, to the Jacobs. It's not just clothes. It's identity. You know, as native peoples, you you in many ways can blend in like we all can in our broader community um, and wear whatever we wear, but that's something that generally is an attachment, an image of self and identity that we must have in our lives. So the Jacobs family is now waiting for the arrival of cedar from their homelands in Oklahoma. It's a traditional way of cleansing these belongings. Kyle, a couple items taken from, like Jan's computer taken from that car when it was stolen. They say nothing compares to finding the items that they so desperately long for, of course. What matters is back in their hands. Absolutely. Thank you, Luis.